Six, an argument over a children's baseball game ends with a loaded gun. The confrontation between two neighbors escalated in front of children in a Greenfield subdivision. Tonight, one woman is charged for her alleged role in the incident. RTV6's Katie Hines reports from Hancock County. It all started sometime around 8 o'clock on Wednesday night. That's when a group of about eight neighborhood kids got together in one of the backyards and decided to hit off a game of baseball. Right in our backyard was home. Uh, they had first base over by that tree, second base straight out, and third, third base was by that bush. The middle and high school age children hit a neighbor's house with two tennis balls, and that's when the problem started. According to the police report, John Zemlich walked out of his house after the second hit and picked up a base that was set up in his yard. He threw it onto his neighbor Kevin Townsend's lawn before knocking on his back door. And kind of an aggressive tone. He's like, I need to have a word with you. So I said, absolutely. So I stepped out the back door, shut the door behind me. The police report shows both neighbors exchanged words. Then Zemlich went to pick up home plate set up on the property line. And I just stepped on it. And I told him, I said, hey, this is my kid's mess. I'll pick it up. You don't have to worry about it. After more arguing, Townsend claims his neighbor said, if you come in my yard again, I'll put a bullet in your head. The report shows Zemlich's wife, Donna, then stepped outside. In her version of the story to officers, she said she was the one with the permit and the gun, then pointed the semi-automatic pistol at her neighbor. Yeah, she was probably um, maybe five feet inside that bush towards my house. Um, and she had, I mean, she had both hands on the gun, fully extended, and just had it at point on me. With his kids watching from the windows, Townsend turned around, went inside, and called police. Uh, this is something where they should have called the police well in advance of what happened. Uh, it should have never gotten to this point. We walked over to the Zemlich's house today, but we're told no comment before we could ask our first question. In Greenfield, Katie Hines, RTV6. And we were referred to the family's attorney who did not return our phone call. Donna Zemlick faces one felony count of pointing a firearm. Police confirm they have forwarded a report to the Hancock County prosecutor for possible additional charges against her husband.